Hello there, and as you probably know by now, one of the most fun videos I like to make on this channel are building my own LEGO Star Wars dioramas. As you can see, to the right of me, I have two on display right now. That is the Bad Batch one that I created last week based on the first three episodes of the final season. And it does look really nice. Now, tomorrow, there'll be a brand new Bad Batch episode. So definitely make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the mock based on last week's episode as... I think it will be really, really cool. But I'm still yet to build that. What I have built is my Mock Isley diorama, which is based on Moss Isley, Chalman's Cantina, which was the UCS set. I've packed all the minifigures into a diorama base, and it's much, much easier to display. Now, with the Tantive, I've actually managed to reduce the piece count. There's only 498 pieces in my diorama, and by the time this video goes up, hopefully you'll be able to find the instructions to purchase aren't my rubricable page which is linked in the description as well as my link tree so if you would like to build this for yourself i've tried to only use common pieces on top of the set to make it accessible to much more people and hopefully you'll be able to build this yourself and let me know how it goes in the comments below but let's take a look at it as you don't even know what you'd be building and as you can see this is actually all that's left from the tentative playset so it does make sense how I was able to reduce that 502 piece count to 498 because there's so many pieces that go into the base and I've just managed to reduce it with a very interesting technique. But we'll get these out of the way and I'm afraid fives isn't included in this mock. At least not this one. There might be something coming up on the horizon. But as you can see, this is my tentative boarding diorama i think the name is fitting enough okay it's not exactly a hundred percent accurate to the scene but if you would like to see a few scenes recreated straight from the movies and there's actually a lego star wars special which if you've been a fan of lego star wars for the last 10 years then you'll definitely really like head over to my instagram i'll also have that linked in the link tree in the description but as you might be able to see Similar to the Chowman's Cantina, which I'll pull out beside it because these are definitely my two favourite dioramas, probably even my two favourite mocks that I've made. As you can see, I've taken a lot from the UCS set in Chowman's Bar area because a lot of these inside techniques, yeah, they might not be in the same order as the set, but they're the same techniques that are used in the set and especially when it comes to little decorations like this on the wall as you can see and I have created my own couches for this and definitely changed up the bar area and how I've put together this wall to make it as structurally sound as I can but that's a bit similar to the Tantive where I've copied the same plaques on the side I've changed up the decoration here to make it movie accurate and even added some of my own features which I would like to trickle back to some of these older mock sets. Focusing back on the diorama for the Tantive boarding as that is the main one for this video. There's definitely things I'd like to change. I think the biggest thing would have been to get another printed door for this side. I might order one because that is really the only thing you'll be needing. But as I said, and it's probably the most obvious you can see that some of these stickers have changed. Now, of course, the Tantive diorama includes not only three of these exact same stickers across these three pillars, but also includes it on the fourth column, which I have had to remove to get it to fit in with the diorama. And this is a 16 stud deep by 24 stud long diorama, as are all my other diorama mocks. Well, at least all of them except for mock Esper, which is 48 by 48 and again that'll be on the end card at the end of the video but this isn't exactly accurate with the stickers for the movie as this one you can see has no sticker on it there is no i like to think of it as a sort of vent control panel there is none on this side i can put up the images as i'm talking to show you what i mean because i have gone back through to a new hope and revenge of the sith and even the end of Rogue One to double check that that is correct. This vent does have a control unit just above it to the right. But this one has it over to the left. So what I've actually done is 
had to chop up the sticker i'll try and include a close-up picture to show it a little better but i've chopped the sticker in half and just shuffled it over to the left which i'm very surprised lego haven't just given us the gray square unit as a lone sticker without the white background because I said it's a pretty close shade of white. It's definitely not the same shade of white as their Lego bricks. So you definitely notice that over time. You can see with the half and half here just above my finger, they're definitely different shades. And on top of this, as I said, they've not been too accurate with their inclusion. They've just included the same sticker across all four of them. Whereas only two of the pillars, this invisible one that was included in the set, would have actually had that sticker. And this would be over to the left. And just not even any sort of sticker on this there's not a different control unit it's just plain and that is how it shows up in star wars content now the one sticker i really wish i could remove well except for of course these with a one by one printed tile and some other ventilation slope is this one above the door and i really did try to similar to how we've got the red plate behind the black grill tiles here I wanted to do a similar thing for the top, have a red 2x4, a white 1x2 on top, and then three white grill pieces around it. And I had the pieces for sure. I just definitely could not have fit them in this space because of, on the reverse, as you've all seen in my review, we've got this white piece here, which is actually what's holding the door in place. And we'll get to this in a minute because... I have switched up a little bit of the design here but because we need that piece to hold the door steady it just means that i really had to use the sticker in this place and i'm sure lego faced a similar design problem when designing the set whilst we're at this angle i would like to point out that i have switched up the door one of my complaints about the set in the review was the fact that when you open the door it left a little white strip in fact it was one plate high or one plate flipped wide on the side here and I have removed that I've made it so that the door can open a bit more and just included an extra stud on the top and bottom of this fiery bit to enable the door to look like it's been fully cut open and you've only got some heated door elements that remain in the orange red and the transparent grayish brownish around the side so if we take a look around the back it's a bit clearer to see especially with the white background what i've done is included a brick instead of a one by one by two brick here the shorter brick and then i've just included some sort of i think it's this orange plate down here i've added something to the bottom and that means when it slides over the door it is the same size as the door and all i've done to the end of it because i haven't curled it round it's one plate too tall now so it wouldn't have fit on the side bit here i've just added some one by fours to increase the length of it a little bit and kept that tile on top to act as the wall so that when the door's shut and you're looking at it from the front it still looks almost flush to the wall in fact it's probably half probably not even half a plate out and then i've just played out the top tiled it off to make it a nicer finish than it was with the grey plates hanging out to the side but we'll get to that in a second the only other change i've made for the door this part of the door at least is the border of my diorama here you can see goes down to match with the door so that when the door is sliding out it doesn't run into that plate and then can only half open and it doesn't make it look too bad or anything it's just a modification to the base i've had to make so if you do end up buying these instructions the base is actually included in that same instructions different to my old dioramas where you had to build the base separately and that was just because i wanted people to be able to build the base without having to buy a diorama so that is still available for free on rubricable but this base is built as part of the diorama and i think i'll do that going forward now the other change you can see in regards to this mechanism is that i've removed the pole on the back now the door itself works more or less the same i have switched up a few of these technic pieces to get the door to open that little bit wider so that you don't see that plates width in the side and i've just switched up mainly this middle bit here which works a lot nicer and works as a handle for the whole thing so i'm not really too sure why lego included the extra handle around this side bit 
but I have taken that away and that's enabled me to get another door in the side here. Now this one's a lot more simpler than the Technic mechanism on there because we don't have another corner around here to work on. All I've done is got the same panel brick in here that has been enabled to slide open and shut just to act as a secondary door here. And as I said, I'd definitely be looking for the printed piece on Bricklink at some point unless you could probably order it through Lego, but as it's under the Star Wars license, I highly doubt they'll make it available on the online pick a brick. And then we just got a little brick down here to stop it. And I've made the rest of it flush with the wall of the Tantive because if I built it out here for what six to eight studs, it just looked a little too weird. And I quite like how they've designed the back of the wall of the Tantive with the black modified bricks here and the occasional different gray pieces because it does represent some of the wiring and other units around the back here so i've of course kept that in my design but we do have a, another door on the back which means though i have removed the play features at the bottom you've still got the two play features with the sliding door at the side here and also the door that now slides open and shut here and i think that looks really cool it helps to build out the back of the diorama whilst also enabling it to be open and I guess you could definitely connect this to another diorama of itself build it backwards and you've got another hallway there but it does look really nice as a standalone scene and as you can see Vader is choking Antilles we've got some rebels and troopers firing at each other a few casualties at the bottom and these are actually every single stormtrooper I'm pretty sure I'm pretty certain in saying that every single stormtrooper that we've got here you'll see the two Luke Skywalkers. We've also got the two Troopers, of course, from the Tantive boarding set. We've got the Stormtrooper from the Stormtrooper mech and the same Stormtrooper from the Stormtrooper polybag, which we got in a magazine. And these are all of the new Troopers. I'll line them up on screen for you. And likewise with the Rebels, I have two Rebels from... I can't remember where I got these two rebels, but they're the exact same rebel figure that has come in this set. And all I've done is had two of them sort of on a happier expression and two of them gritting their teeth, much like Antilles here, who is being choked out by Vader using that one by one round brick that come with the set. So I'm very happy with how this turned out. Again, definitely check Instagram for the five different scenes and references I've included in a photo. And if you want to see a video on how I take certain photos because I'm definitely experimenting a bit more with lighting then definitely let me know in the comments below let me know what you think of this diorama now I'm just editing the video here for the Tantive diorama and I completely forgot to tell you the best part about this diorama perhaps not the best part but you see this base here at the floor that looks like it's been paneled out and there's actually a loose snot brick here which is needed for one of the other scenes I created over on my Instagram but it's actually brick built sideways and I've done that by including some snot bricks and brackets to this back wall here to enable it to be sturdy enough to hold in. And if we flip it without moving the doors too much, you can actually see they're two by bricks. So two by twos, I think there's some corner bricks, two by threes, two by fours, two by six, two by eights. And there's even the odd two by ten used here to create the nice paneling on the floor and that enables it to be so much smoother on top and doesn't require me going through so many of these light bluish grey tiles. So if you did enjoy this, definitely be sure to check it out on Rebrickable and before you purchase, you can actually see all the extra bricks I've used in this model to make sure that you've got enough. Stay tuned because there'll be one other version. Don't worry, I'm not breaking this diorama apart this might be another forever diorama similar to my mock Isley Chalman's cantina one because I really like how this turned out and again subscribe if you haven't here already thank you so much for 700 subscribers which I know we did hit the other day it was only a matter of time before we hit it and we're still heading for 100 a month I know we didn't quite hit February's we were four or five subscribers off but if we can aim for 800 subs this month, that would be awesome. So definitely stick around, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and may the bricks be with you always.